I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So it is an actual bag this month um, and there's no like, you know, other bag. This is it. This is the bag and there's no box. It came in this envelope. So that was different. I don't mind it at all. So this month they did start the you choose three of your items, which I think is really cool and fun. And I love that they're doing that. So first, let me show you the two items that I did not choose. This one is from 111 skin, 11 skin. I don't know you guys. Anyway, this is another one of their boosters. I have had the vitamin C booster, which I do like, and I've used up my whole jar. The last one that I got, this one is the cryo ATP sports booster and this one is supposed to mimic the effect of cold on your skin so that like if you use it right after working out or something or after taking a hot shower I don't know it helps maintain that healthy flush that glow of your I don't know you guys I didn't notice any of that I don't see how the science works behind it but that is what it's supposed to do mostly I feel like it's just a serum you know you put it on on your clean face or you can mix it in with your moisturizer and I've used it several times. I haven't noticed any sort of magicalness. It does feel fairly hydrating and I'm not against using it. So I will continue to use it. Who knows, maybe eventually I will be like, oh, hey, it did help me keep that radiant flush. I don't know, you guys. And then these two are from Beauty For Real and they're eyeshadow sticks, which I don't mind. And I am wearing both of them today. This one is in a champagne-y color and then this one is kind of a bronzy color, I guess. Like I said, I have both of them on today. They are really easy to use. I actually really like shadow sticks, you know, cause you can just kind of plop them on, smudge them out with a finger, that kind of a thing. They also do smudge with a brush. There is a little sharpener on the, on the back end of it, which is nice, but it is a wind up kind of a dumaflachi here. So I like, I, I do like these. I think they're great. You know, I mean, the formula of them seems nice. I've used them on top of powder and they seem to work well as well as on days when I don't have any powder on my eyes and they seem to stick around and not get creasy or smudgy or anything like that. So I've been liking these, you know, the colors aren't super pigmented here. Let me swatch them on my hand so you can kind of see that. It's not that they're not pigmented. I think just think they're, they're lighter shades but I really like this champagne-y one for brightening up my eye area. Okay, so the ones that I did choose, this is from Lovecraft Beauty and it's a highlighter palette. You have two colors in here, Aurora, which is a nice kind of cool toned pink and then Borealis, which is more of like a coppery bronzy type of a highlight. I really do like both of these colors. The pink can be a little bit more on the pale side, but I like them both. I think they have a really lovely shimmer to them. They feel very soft and powdery. You can kind of see them on my fingers there. You know, just really, really pretty colors. These ones I feel like, you know, if you want more of a strong highlight that's like pigmented and colored, not just shimmer, but you know, and then actual shade on your cheeks. I think that these ones do have a fair amount of pigment. I like the bronzy one better on me. The pink one just tends to make me look a little washed out. Um, but the bronzy one is really nice and it just adds, you know, a nice glow to your cheeks. So this one also a glowy product. Evidently I was feeling the highlights this month is from Wander Beauty. I love Wander Beauty. They have innovative, interesting, really well-made products. So this one is the Catch the Light highlighter and lotion. So it actually has two parts to it. You've got the little cap, which has this solid cream highlighter. And you know, you can just kind of plop it on this way. And it's really, really lovely. I love this. I just think that it gives me the most lovely glow without being overwhelming or too intensely shimmery or glittery. You know, I'm not a teenager, so I don't necessarily want to look like a fairy, but I do like a little extra glowiness to my cheeks. So I love that one. And then it also has this Glotion on the inside, which is like a liquid highlighter. And this one is great for if you just wanna put it on your face and have a glowy face, you can use it as a liquid highlighter on your cheeks. You can mix it in with your primer or moisturizer or even your foundation for an extra luminization. And again, with the lovely shade, not overpowering, not chunky glitter. 
I, I love both of these products and I think I will get a lot of use out of this because it's great. And especially during the summertime when I don't feel like putting a lot of makeup on most days, the top one is gonna be one of those swipe and smudge with my fingers and go kind of a thing. And then another Wander Beauty product, I'm telling you, I love Wander Beauty. This one is a clear brow gel. So it has this teeny tiny little wand, which is nice. I love the smaller wands for brow gel. I have several other brow gels and the one from Honest Anastasia Beverly Hills was like my first major one and that has a big fat brush on it and it feels like cement in your eyebrows. I also have one from Julep that I think is really nice. I really like this one because it does hold my eyebrows in place. I get these eyebrows that like grow straight down that are super annoying and I've tried like cutting them and if I pluck them then I just end up with holes in the middle of my eyebrow. So something like this is really helpful for those stray brows that just wanna grow in the wrong direction because it does actually hold it in place. I would totally get a tinted version of this as well. I already have major eyebrows, so I don't need a lot of help, but I do like something to hold them in place. So I've been using this on its own a couple of times, and then today I just put a little bit of powder from the Brow Gal and then put this over it works great, I'm loving this. And then this was an add-on, it's just a little lip balm from Jersey Shore Cosmetics. This one is in watermelon. I have another one of these that I think was an apple flavored one or scented one, and I really liked it. So I decided to get the watermelon one. The watermelon one kind of smells funky. Like it definitely has that Jolly Rancher watermelon, but there's an underlying funk to it that I'm not digging, but the actual, you know, lip balm of it is really nice. It goes on really nicely. It's not too oily or too sticky. You know, it's a good formula. So this I actually got with points. This is the Complex Culture All Over Shadow Brush, and it's really nice. I like the shape of it and everything. It's just a nice, Fluffy brush, you can never have too many of these fluffy brushes. It's great for blending out in your crease or just getting a swipe of all over color, that kind of a thing. Super nice. So anyway, I really liked my bag. I got some products that I will definitely use, absolutely. I like everything, even the things that I didn't pick out. So I'm very happy. So let me know what you guys got in your bags this month. What do you think of the bag, first of all? How do you feel about the choosing the three items? Did you get good stuff? I remember when I was choosing, I felt like, I don't know if I want any of this stuff stuff, but I ended up being super happy with everything. So anyway, let me know what you guys thought of your bags. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!